Biblical Hebrew, drop letter imperfects. What we're looking at with this little animation is how certain roots drop a letter when we conjugate them in the imperfect tense. So here we have yada to know, and in the imperfect it drops its first consonant, the yod, so that all we have is da, and that's what we want to recognize. So when we conjugate it, we add our signal letters. Here's the aleph for ani, ani e da, ata te da, at te di, hu ye da, he te da, anachnu ne da. Atem te du, aten te dana, hem ye du, hena te dana. So that's a good example that comes up a lot. Uh, here's another common one. So we have lekach to take. Lekach in the imperfect is going to drop its initial lamed, and then we conjugate it like this. Ani. Ekach, ata tikach, at tikhi. That one's a little tricky. Hu yikach, he tikach, anachnu nikach, atem tikhu, aten tikachna. Hem yik hu hena tikachna. So if you're reading along and you come across an unfamiliar word, uh, for example, nelech, and maybe you don't know what it is, you can try to recognize if it has one of those signal letters at the beginning. So there's a nun, which means that this could be a uh, imperfect anach new form. It could be hiding behind that nun the initial letter, in this case, the he, which is dropped off, leaving us with nelech, we will go, or let's go. So there you have it. I hope this has helped a little bit. Avu et